what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel today's video we have some packages to open some big packages to open so let's go ahead and roll that intro and let's get this video started yes ladies and gentlemen we have a few boxes to open here on the channel today we have this box here from Galactic Toys. We have this box from Pops Collectibles and Comics on Facebook. Facebook live stream. Check them out. I've been waiting on this one for a little while, so let me go ahead and open this one really quick. I know what it is. It's a My Hero Pop, but you don't know what it is. Alright, once we cut the packaging, this is what we are greeted with. That right there. You can tell. Take the pop out. It is wrapped nicely in bubble wrap. I really like that. Also included a pop protector. Now, to be honest, the last pop protector that I got from this company was complete trash. So, and this one, believe I believe this one's going to be trash as well because it's really, really flimsy. Yeah. Ah. Uh, mm, no. Mm -mm. No, that's really, really flimsy. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with My Hero Academia Midnight. Yes, I just seen her in an episode of My Hero. I'm actually wa watching My Hero right now. Kind of like background noise. I've, I've already watched all the seasons, so I know what's going on. Just uh, background noise. So this one right here is really freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and take her out of the box because that is what we do. Bam, there it is right there, Midnight from My Hero Academia. It looks exactly like her. It, she does come with a stand because she's going to have trouble standing just uh, free form like that. So, yeah, she comes with a stand. It's a really freaking awesome pop. Uh, another one to the My Hero Academia collection. I think I have, like, six more I need to get from the My Hero Academia line. Uh, the Three Girls. The All Might, the Uchaka, and the Tenya I need to get. You know, if people don't like Tenya, please send them my way. I'll gladly take them. All right, so this one right here is a big-ass box. It is a 12 by 12 by 12, as you can see right there. Huge-ass box. So we have a bunch of goodies in here. I think we have pops. We have some comics. I'm not sure exactly what else we have, but... I know I have some stuff in here that I'm, I'm really curious to see what's inside. Let's go ahead and open this box because that's what we're here for, to see what's inside of the boxes that I get. Really freaking awesome to be able to get stuff like this. It's the only way can you really get stuff right now from this the Rona. Alright. Once we cut the packaging the box this is what we are greeted with now they do a good job of putting stuff in like pop protectors and make sure they're very well protected I've gotten comics from them before and they were in like boxes dedicated for um, you know like comics so we're gonna take that top layer of bubble off and we're just gonna you can kind of see I don't want to dump it all out but that's that's kind of what we're working with right there all right, so we're just going to grab one box in here, if we can. All right, there's one box right there. And three, two, and I forget what we got, so it's going to be a mystery to me, too, as well. Bam. What is this? Okay, all right, all right. This one is Shorty. Maybe, did he put it all in one box? I'm expecting uh, more boxes, but I think he put it all in one box. So here is Shorty. Is it Shorty? Yeah, Shorty from Killer Clowns of, from Outer Space. I just recently watched this movie like a year ago. There's a side card, a back card, and the other side. That is really freaking cool. Uh, Shorty, that's really awesome. I believe all of my pops are in here because I ordered some. Maybe not. Um, I forget. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Bam. Uh, some of these are not going to be in my collection. They're actually going to Ricky or um, somebody adjacent to Ricky. But there is Undertaker. Yeah, it's Undertaker. That's really freaking awesome. Side card, back card, other side. This guy is kind of heavy. I don't even know how much he weighs, but it's got it's pretty substantial. 
That's a pretty substantial pop right there. Two pops are $11 a piece, or if you buy three, you get them for 30 So, pretty good deal. And we have a Norman Reedus. I do remember getting this one, so that's pretty awesome. Norman Reedus. <clears throat> and it is part of the Walking Dead series right there. There's a front, side, back, side again. That's pretty awesome. I really like this. I believe I got more pops coming my way. I can't be certain, but I'm pretty sure I do. Because this is the last one I ordered. Or the first one I ordered. Alright, so. We got another box coming, people. So we have another pop right here. Alright. In three, two, one. Bam. Here we go. Uh... Okay, I don't know, but there is uh, Baby Sinclair, uh, not the mama, not the mama, but there's a side card, the back card, you can see, other side card, and then the front again. That baby, let's, let, should we, t yeah, let's take them out, but look at the Baby Sinclair, that is freaking awesome, holy crap, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, that looks really awesome. You can see the back. I need to crank up that uh, white light box again and try to do more pop displays. Got one more thing in here. Oh yeah, this is a two-pack. Alright, so two-pack right here. Alright, so it is a two-pack of... Sting and Lex Luger. Really cool. Uh, like I said, most of these are not going to be in my collection. I believe this one is going to be Ricky's. So there is that for Ricky. Or she may be gifting it to somebody. I'm not really exactly sure. But it's a two-pack. There's a side card. The back card. The other side card. Now, I remember back in the day, uh, Sting. Right here, Sting. He was my favorite wrestler. So I was into wrestling back in the day. And Sting was my favorite. I remember, uh, I remember trying to do the Scorpion Deathlock on people whenever I was a kid. So that kind of holds memories there. So I may have to fight her for the Sting, just for the Sting. That's pretty cool, nonetheless. So Sting, there we go, and Lex Luger, pretty cool. This is some comics right here. I um, okay, so what he had some kind of like mystery pulls. So if you was to say a uh, five dollar pull. He'll reach into a bin filled with five to ten dollar pull or comics. He'll pull you one out, and uh, whatever you get is what you get. So they had one for five dollars and one for ten dollars. So the one for five dollars is five dollars to ten dollars. The ten dollar one is from ten dollars to twenty dollars. And I think later on down the road they started doing more with more Grailly type, you know, comics. So here we have right here. It is all my comics that I got. Holy crap. I still got more coming too. One of my $5 pulls that I got was a giant size Dracula, which is pretty cool. I like horror comics and like anthology type of comics and graphic novels and stuff like that. Uh, that one's going to be a good read. I'm not exactly sure if I want to actually crack them open and read them because some of these are collector's items and... You know, having them in packaging and not even creased makes them more valuable or keep their value. So, I'm not really sure if I want to actually read that. I might, you know, try to be as careful as possible. But I'll try to read this. This next one was a dollar pool that I picked up. Um, yeah, so they have, uh, like I said, on Thursdays and Saturdays they do everything. And comics was one of them. And I got this one for a dollar. It is an Iron Man comic. That is really freaking awesome. I'm a huge Iron Man fan. As you can kind of tell by my shelf right here, I have a few Iron Mans. So I'll definitely be giving this one a read because I don't think it was too valuable, but I got it just because it is Iron Man. Here's some of the horror comics that I got. It is by Joe Hill. That is Stephen King's son. So he does write these little horror uh, comics. So I'm curious to jump into that. I got one, two three i got one two and four i think and they're just horror comics so i'm i'm 
anxiously awaiting to read these and see what they are like. I know what Stephen King is. He, I know his work. I just want to see what his son's got. And I know his son has been doing comics for a while with like uh, Lock and Key. So uh, here's another Iron Man comic for a dollar. So I picked that one up as well. Uh, this one here was a $5 pull, but it happened to be a $10 book. It is uh, Batman. It's all foil. You can see that. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I'm not a huge DC fan, but I can appreciate it for what it is. And uh, this is uh, no exception. I really like it. I'm going to keep it in my collection. Maybe trade it off one day, possibly. Alright, so this one is... Um, an annual number one, it is the X-Files. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of X-Files, anything horror, anthology, um, stuff like X-Files I really like. It's the creepier the better, the scarier the better. Alright, so this one is Iron Man 2.0. It was another dollar book, and it is Iron Man. There it is right there. I'll give these a read and... Put them in my Iron Man collection of comic books in my um, my short box. There it is, Iron Man. Last but certainly not least, it is it was one of the ones I traded for. I did pull a five dollar uh, what was it, Daredevil comic, so I traded <clears throat> one of the guys that got one of the five dollar pulls. And I end up getting the Tales from the Crypt, or Tales from the Crypt presents the Vault of Horror. Yes, like I said, I am a huge horror person. I really like horror comics. I like horror movies. Anything creepy, anything Tales from the Crypt, I really like. So, uh, it was a must. It was a must to get this. So I believe that's going to be it. All my pops here, all my comics. I think that is it. I am expecting another box in a couple of days. It should have been here today. It was marked for delivery yesterday. I was thinking it was going to come here today so I could do this video. But that that is it. I'd like to thank you for clicking and watching. Be sure to give this video a like, a comment, and a subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And on behalf of the Owls Nest, I'll see you flocked of collectors in the next one.